uh, as well as our director for operations can call at any time. And again, there are times that we we have called Miss Mpofu and she would be at an airport in Kyle or she would be just about, you know, uh, she would be in transit, you know, between capitals around the world, but she still has time for this work. So we really appreciate uh, her time and we would like to recognize her for that. And then lastly but not least, we want to acknowledge our very own Mr. Douglas Mboweni. It's a pity he has just left his other commitments in the meeting that he actually is going to be late for uh, because he made the time to come and be with us this evening. Such is his commitment and dedication. Before this, he actually had a commitment at their church uh, as an elder there, uh, which he went and he fulfilled. Then he went, got his wife, and came here. So it is the dedication and application of men and women, uh, uh, like, you know, Ms. Mboweni, uh, Ms. Masiwa, Ms. Zero, and Ms. Mpof, uh, our board of trustees, that has enabled us to be here. Uh, and today, as we celebrate our Thanksgiving dinner and this time of celebration and recognition, it is only uh, fit that we also recognize them. Uh, we have prepared some special gifts for them, uh, which we believe that they will appreciate, uh, and we're going to soon dispatch them and send them to them. Uh, but even in absentia, I would like you to please join me in giving them a round of applause for their leadership. <laughs> I would also now like to recognize our members of the Finance Committee. We've already seen Mr. Teach Ceremony said, if you could kindly stand up on your feet again, let's give him a round of applause. Um, you know, with uh, Teach, or, you know, he doesn't mind me calling him Teach, but he's really Mr. Ceremony. <laughs> uh, but he's just can call me Teach. Uh, he, he is always like, you know, Fungai, whatever you need, uh, you are the boss. Uh, and you see, that for me, epitomizes is and embodies the servant leadership that we've been talking about, which is one of our values. So, so we really appreciate the time that you invest, the professionalism that you have, uh, as well as, you know, the, the friendship uh, and just, you know, the appreciate. I also want to appreciate in Absentia, uh, Ms. Emilia Chilsango. Uh, she's uh, a chief finance officer at Econet, and she's a member of our finance committee, Ms. Leonard Gore who is the Chief Risk Officer at Econet. He is also a member of our Finance and Audit Committee. And Mr. Nick Rubenheimer, who couldn't be with us this evening, uh, he is actually the chairperson uh, or the chairman of the Finance uh, and Audit Committee of High Life Foundation. Um, I would like us to give a round of applause to these leaders for the value that are being this work And uh, lastly, but not least, I was asked to give a vote of thanks uh, as we come to the close of the evening. So, Master of Ceremonies, or Director of Ceremonies, um, please allow me to break the protocol uh, and start by acknowledging everybody who accepted our invitation to join us this evening. Uh, we really, really appreciate your being here uh, and taking time to attend this event. Uh, whether or not you were recognized with an award, uh, I would like to thank you uh, for helping us to make this evening uh, a beautiful evening that it was a special night to remember. May you please give yourselves, everybody, a big round of applause. <laughs> and now, on behalf of our executive coach here, I would like to once again thank uh, our board members, our board committee members, uh, and all the leaders uh, that joined us this evening. Thank you for making the time. ILA Foundation truly cherishes your leadership and counsel and your commitment to the work that we do. Thank you so much, and God bless you. I would like to thank uh, once again for the records, our finance and audit committee, uh, and I want to uh, especially mention Mr. Uh, 
ceremony for actually coming in person and making the time. Um, we value the professionalism that you bring to the work that we do, the governance oversight. May God bless you and thank you for being here tonight. Let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> now I would like to thank all the Econet Group executives that made it to this evening tonight. Uh, and I'm going to take a chance and uh, kindly please ask you to stand up. Uh, Ms. Mboweni has just left. Uh, I don't know whether Ms. Chimanikire is still around. Uh, Ms. Nyatsine, Pasa Nyatsine, Ms. Njarawaza, uh, Ms. Magaya, Ms. Makuni, uh, Ms. Marandure, Dr. Lance, uh, Mambondiani, uh, Ms. Chidala, and Z. Anybody else I didn't mention by name from the Econet group, Kindly please stand on your feet. We would like to recognize you and give you a round of applause. Thank you so very much. You know, uh, we are fully aware that uh, for you guys, time is money, literally. Uh, and yet you chose to invest your time uh, in making this evening a great success for us and supporting the work that High Life Foundation does. Thank you so much, and God richly bless you and your families. Um, I'm also aware that right now there's actually an initiative to leverage on the skills that are within the Econet group, such that some of our functions in Higher Life Foundation are actually um, held. Uh, we, we get mentorship, we are handheld, uh, and we share resources and make what we do uh, even more efficient uh, but at the same time, raising the bar in terms of uh, excellence and professionalism. So I especially want to recognize Mr. Magaya for that. He's done a great job helping us uh, in High Life Foundation up to now. Uh, thank you, sir, for your efforts. Uh, I don't know how you manage your time, but somehow you do it. Uh, thank you so much, and God bless you. And now, as I draw to the end of my own current assignment at High Life Foundation, uh, in, in the next couple of hours, uh, my gig at High Life Foundation is going to come to an end uh, and I'm going to uh, take up another role at Econet Wireless. Uh, so I would like to thank all High Life Foundation staff uh, that came to this dinner um, and even those that couldn't make it. I want to thank you for receiving me uh, and uh, accepting me into your lives. Uh, and allowing me to become a part of you over the past uh, about one and a half to two years that I've been uh, working with you. I will truly miss you. Um, you made it easy uh, and you made it great fun uh, for me working with you and serving this great vision uh, of providing a platform for people to fulfill their God-given purpose. It was a joy and a pleasure working with you and I will surely miss all of you. I can't even begin to single out individuals, otherwise we'll be here the whole night. Uh, suffice for me to say uh, that the love and respect that I received from all of you, from people like Mang Elisha, uh, I wonder where she is here today, uh, you know, who would make sure that uh, our offices are clean, and she did a good job of it. Uh, you know, to the likes of Dr. Kenneth Mbaiwa, a medical doctor and an intellectual uh, who left his practice uh, to put his shoulders on the wheel uh, in support of this great vision. Uh, and, you know, to the several interns, uh, to the likes of O'Brien and AJ, who work closely with me in my office, uh, your support and your hard work inspired me and kept me going. I want to urge you all as High Life Foundation staff to remain steadfast with a singleness of purpose. United by the common vision you share of transforming lives and of providing a platform for people, young people, children to fulfill their God-given purpose. Never look down upon yourself or upon the work you do. You are world changers. And you were born for such a time as this. You are in the right place. I believe all of you that are in High Life Foundation right now, today, you should be in High Life Foundation doing the work that you do. Thank you so much. And lastly, but by no means 
least, I would like to express my most sincere gratitude to the executive co-chair, Dikone Sitima Siwa, for making this evening, and indeed, this work we call Highlight Foundation possible. I want to thank him uh, in my own personal capacity for affording me the opportunity to be part of this outstanding and great work. It was a great and absolute honor for me to work with Mrs. Masiwa and to have the opportunity to serve the vision uh, that she holds in her heart of raising millions of young leaders that will transform our continent and touch off and begin an African Renaissance. For me, the vision that you cast, Ms. Masiwa, the hundreds of lives that you have impacted, and the hope that you have given to the hopeless, all these, for me, they raise you above and beyond just being a role model in social investment. But I believe and I'm persuaded that you are imagining as one of the truly transformational and iconic leaders of our generation on the continent of Africa. You and Ms. Masiwa have become pathfinders. You have become pioneers. And you are church bearers that are shining a spotlight on the several possibilities that businesses can achieve in helping to solve social problems. Thank you for the support that you gave me personally. Thank you for your prayers. Yesterday morning, you gave a powerful prayer for me, uh, and I wish I had recorded it. And thank you so much for sharing your life, your resources, uh, and continent and beyond. On Monday, I start my journey at Econet. Uh, I'll, I'll be home. Uh, you know, now I have two homes. You know, when I was at higher life, they become my home. Uh, but I'm going back home to Econet. Uh, but let me just say that uh, you need, whenever you need me, you know where to find me. Uh, this is directed to Ms. Masiwa. Uh, and to the rest of my life foundation staff, uh, know this also, that uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, I always carry a part of you in my heart, wherever I go. So, Ms. Masiwa, uh, the highlight for you, and may he hear you and answer you and prosper you in whatever you do. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Now at the same time, Mr. Nandibe, I just couldn't be able to keep it up with you. Thank you for allowing to give us the support.